Hey guys, Reed Berry, Twin Oaks Outdoors, coming at you with a tester video. Um, as you guys know, the kicks, butt kicker, standard full. Uh, I'm not too happy with the way it performs out of the Rite uh, Masamara. So uh, coming down here, got some time. I'm gonna come down to the range here at the house. And uh, I got a new choke tube to test out. I've been seeing a lot of videos on it. I uh, finally decided to get in contact with the guys and uh, buy one. Have one sent to the house. It's the Rectifier Deer Blaster uh, 6, 7, 8, 4 size constriction. So they say it's an extra, extra full. A uh, guy was telling me that 70% of the load should be in a 15 inch circle at 40 yards. That's right about what I'm looking for. So I decided to test it out. So what we're gonna do first, I have the standard full in the gun. We are gonna shoot a Remington 15 pellet double lot. Gonna do a nine pellet Remington double lot, a standard Winchester 15 pellet double lot. And then uh, depending on how things go, I have a three and a half number four buck that I do like to lead off. If you've seen some of my videos, I've killed some deer. Uh, one shot with the three and a half number four that was out of 870 so i want to see how it does out of the uh rectifier choke so i'm going to save that one for when i shoot the rectifier so we're going to do standard full first got a target at 40 yards um a 12 by 12 square and then i have a box it's i think it's about 20 or 22 inches uh outside so we're going to see how many i can get in the orange and then what's around there and how wide the spread is and then i'll transfer fur over to the kicks shoot some rounds of the kicks and then we'll finish up with the uh, rectifier and see how the rectifier does uh, against the factory full and the kicks so we should have everything ready to go so then we'll get set up and uh, get ready to shoot some rounds right, starting with the uh, standard full we're gonna go ahead and shoot a 15 pellet double lot Remington 40 yards All right, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteens down here. So let's see. We got one up here. I don't know if I count that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 on paper. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 9, 9. Uh, this one maybe, maybe 10, depending on how the deer is. So it's pretty, uh, pretty good line kind of across the hand there. Uh, let's see, nine of 10 probably, uh, nine or 10 of 15 probably would have been at the deer at 40 yards. Would have killed him, but I'd like to see something a little bit tighter. So we'll shoot the uh, nine pellet and then we'll we switch the over. to nine pellet, double lot, still 40 yards. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, excuse me, seven, seven in the square, eight, nine, all nine. The whole load would have been right there, right in the deer. That's actually pretty good. So we'll see how the, uh, how the other chokes compare to that. I think this Rite likes that non pellet. All right guys, for the final test out of the full, we have a standard Winchester 15 pellet double lot. I've actually never shot a 
Winchester double light out of this gun. So it's the first for both of us. So let's see. All right, this one's a little bit more spread out, kind of how the Remington was. We have one out here, two on the line, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen out of fifteen. Let's see. This might be a this might be a double right here. Let's see the count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we do have all fifteen. I mean, I think it would have done okay on a deer. I um, mean, you know, I was putting it long in here. Um, it kind of, kind of a little too widespread for my taste. So we'll put the kicks in and we'll see what they got. All right, guys. So you saw how that went. Um, this gun loves them two and three quarter nine pellet. Good thing I uh, have a bunch. Um, so from the shot, still locked to the rear. Safety's on. We're gonna go ahead and take the factory full out. Put the kicks in and we're going to compare the uh kicks butt kicker to the factory full and then we will compare the kicks in the factory to the rectifier so everybody kind of knows what the kicks is it looks like ported sticks out about an inch and a half from the barrel so we're going to shoot the uh shoot the three inch two and three quarter and then we're gonna shoot the old uh, Winchester. So let's get ready and go. All right, guys, three, three inch, 15 pellet double lot out of the uh, Remington with the kicks at 40 yards. I'm ready, so we're gonna get this going. Let's go check her out. All right, guys, so now you see why the kicks is the problem. I aimed exactly how I aimed with the factory full, and look how low the round went. The whole load is low. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven that have been completely under the deer's belly, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 15 one of these is it hit the tape so 15 all on paper only one two three four uh i don't know maybe five six seven eight nine nine would have been at the deer but the whole load was low i mean we still had probably had enough in there to kill them but I just don't like how low that is. So we'll load up the nine pellet and we'll see how she does. Nine pellet, double lot, two and three quarter. Had it kicks. All right, here comes the nine pellet again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, six, right here. Where I can cover with my hand, right in smack dab in the center. Seven, eight, and number nine down here. So seven of nine in the deer, right there at uh 40 yards. Makes me feel a little bit better about it. This guy up here probably hit him in the back, would have broke him down. These are right here in the boiler room. So five of them I can cover with my hand. And then number seven right here. Depending on which way it's running, that's probably going to be in the back. So maybe eight or nine, seven or nine to, sit, to be uh, on the safe side. 
so it's a little better we'll get this taped up and um we'll shoot that uh 15 pellet winchester all right guys we're gonna shoot that 15 pellet three inch out of the kicks see how she does Winchester's got some kick. Them nine pellet uh, Remingtons, they feel like shooting a daggum high brass dove loader or quail loader or something. They don't kick at all, but then you shoot them big mammers, you really feel it. I can't uh, imagine what that number four is going to feel like. Y'all stand by. Okay, guys, that's um, that's actually not too awful bad. Um, We got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine nine we'll go we'll say eight because one two this one's close enough three four five six seven eight no okay nine you got nine right there that's pretty much right there in the uh center ten just off just about an inch off eleven twelve 13, 14, and 15. So all 15 are in that 24-inch uh, square. And you got nine of them pretty much in the foot-by-foot foot square. And then you got some just on the outside. So that definitely would have put a hurting on a deer for sure. Um, so we're going to load in the rectifier, and we're going to see how she does. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, once again, guns unloaded. Safety's on. We're going to take the uh, kicks out. And we're going to talk about the rectifier a little bit, okay? Uh, I know I didn't go over it in the beginning, so I'm going to go over it now. Uh, it's Cyclone Choke Tube, the Deer Blaster. So, obviously made for buckshot. This paper right here says, for two and three quarter and three inch, double lot buck. And then for three and a half, you got number one and number four buck. So, I do have a three inch number one that I'm going to shoot if I like the way it patterns. If not, I'm not going to waste it. And I do have a three and a half number four that I am going to shoot regardless. Um, we'll go over here, kind of look at it a little bit. Um, that's that cyclone kind of slanted porting. It's about two inches, so it's going to stick out about two inches from the barrel. Um, if you guys don't know, um, I don't think I've gone over it any in my uh, videos, but this, you probably saw it on the paper, the Rite is the same choke thread pattern as the Benelli Creo Plus. So if you're looking online, if you guys have a Rite and you can't find chokes, the Benelli Creo Plus choke tubes will fit this gun. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to load up this. Uh, I don't have, I didn't bring down a um, another 3-inch um, uh, another three inch Remington. So all I have is a 9-pellet, 2 and 3-quarter Remington a three inch 15 pellet and i think i might have some two and three quarter winchester so we might just run a two and three quarter winchester um out of there and see how that patterns yeah i got some right here so same uh shell just a uh nine pellet double lot load same shell as the remington it's just the winchester version so we'll do that um and then we'll shoot the number four and if i like the way things are going we'll we'll take some shots with the uh number one buck and see how it goes um and then, uh, once I kind of get a baseline, uh, spoiler alert, I'm kind of joining the bandwagon, if you could say. I'm, I got some stuff to start reloading, so I'm going to try to be a, a little mini Wade Rush, a little mini Roger Atkins. These guys are way more experienced than I am, so I'm basically kind of piggybacking off of them and kind of seeing what their loads work look like in mine. So I got some nickel-plated double lot uh, at the house. I got some hulls, and I got some stuff like that, and I'm waiting on some number one buck, and um some different wads to come in so once they all come in i'll start testing them out i'll kind of figure out what's good and then you'll start seeing me do some reloading videos uh stand by i'm gonna get set up and then we'll shoot these uh shells right here thanks for tagging along guys also uh if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh hit the like button hit the bell notification hunting season's just around the corner it's just the beginning of september here so we have one more month bow season will start in october we'll start getting after some deer 
uh, September goose came in and dove season's in. So if I can uh, find some time, I'll get out there and do some videos for that. Also, let me know, um, I kind of was been toying with the idea of starting um, some cooking videos because, you know, I like to cook what I kill. Um, I think I do a good job. I'm, you know, I'm a little biased, so I have a bunch of kind of recipes that I follow. So if you guys want to see me cook various stuff from deer to duck to goose to dove, different types of way, um, let me know if you kind of want to see that. If not, um, I'm not going to waste y'all's time, but somebody might get some value out of it. Um, but without further ado, let's get started with this. Uh, we'll get started with the Winchester first. We'll do the three inch 15 pellet Winchester first since I don't have a Remington. So let's get it going. Yeah, you see that guy kind of sticks out. Uh, looks good though. I like it. It's a good looking choke tube. So let's get zeroed in here and see what we got going on with this 15 pellet load here. I'm also going to get another square and put another orange square. All right, guys, well, you guys can see that. Um, looks like a lot more than 15. Um, <laughs> but we'll get them counted and we'll see. Let's see what's in the square. We got one here, two right on the edge, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven in this square. You got. 13 14 right there in the uh 13 14 right there just on the outside so you got 14 pellets they're gonna crush this deer and you got 15 16 i might have shot a number one uh 16 17 18 19 up there 20 21 22 23 24 25 26, 27, 28. 28. All right. We're going to shoot that nine pellet Remington right now. I'm not sure what happened with the other one, if it was mislabeled. All the hell will say 15 pellets. Unless it knocks some tape down or something like that. But I got a new square. Everything's taped up. So we'll see how this one goes. Guys, not sure what happened. It didn't like that one at all. One, two, three out here, four, five, six up here, and that's it. So just six and nine. Seven. There's one down here. Just missed my tape. Seven down there. But still. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. It didn't like that at all. Get this taped up and we'll shoot that uh, Winchester. Nine pellet. Winchester, double up. All right, let's see how she did. This one's kind of spray it all over the place, too. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight down here and nine right there. One, two, three, four. Four. I mean, that's lucky if that one's in the deer, but those might be depending on which way it's running. But it likes them three inch shells, them three inch Winchesters. So we'll uh, get this taped up and we'll see what we got going. What else we got going with this number four? All right, guys, we're going to shoot this. Uh... This hammer jammer load here. We're gonna shoot this number four, three and a half out of the out of the rectifier. Ooh we brace yourself. Oh. Shoot we. I know you you really don't feel that when you're shooting at a deer, but you feel it out here. Good enough. All right, guys, I'm not gonna count it. But you see all that right there in the square and then everything right around it. So 
that deer is eight up with them number four inch buck. So there's that number four shot buck. So he's definitely uh, definitely hurting for sure. All these right here, all these you can cover. I can cover my hand. All right here, just pounding them. All that right there is going to be in the deer. Some of those up there might be. So that one on the edge over there. So that's a good load. All right, guys, we're back at the house. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how I thought everything went. My thoughts on it. We'll start with what I shot first, the factory full. Had a decent spread um, with the 15 pellet loads, both of them. Uh, they were about the same. Uh, we got to remember it is 40 yards, so I would have had definite room for error. I think it would have done really well with the deer. I think it would have, I don't know if it would have dropped them stone cold, but, you know, things happen. I think it would have done well. Um, that nine pellet, uh, Remington nine pellet two and three quarter is nasty out of this factory full. I The whole load would hit the deer at 40 yards. You can't ask for anything better than that. Um, 12 by 12, the one load, maybe an inch, inch and a half. So we're thinking the 15 in circle, maybe, um, maybe a little more with the ninth was a little bit farther out, but for the most part right there, um, can't ask for anything better than that. That's, it's really decent. So we'll go, and then we'll start with the, and we'll go to the kicks. First load had me worried, kind of back to its old ways, um, the more I think about it, nine pellets would have been in the deer in a fairly tighter pattern, more long, but very thin, which would have done really well. Um, but those seven pellets under the belly, you know, that would have, you know, obviously wouldn't have done anything or hit them in the guts and nobody wants to do that. But then we shot the nine pellet and the nine pellet did, lack of better, you know, terms, pretty much the same as the factory full. Uh, it was a little bit tighter in the square. Um, not all nine would have been in the deer, I don't think. Eight or nine, probably. But those seven were right there in the square looking good. Uh, five of them I can cover with my hand. So those would have been out there a little bit farther. Um, and then it did really well with that 15 pellet uh, double out load from Winchester. And I think it did really well. We had a bunch of those right there in the center of the square. Um, I think 11 to 15 would have been in the deer uh, comfortably, probably we're right on the edge of the 12 by 12. So let's say a 13 at circle. And then some of them were a little out. Some of them would have missed. But hey, that's just part of it. Um, and the uh, reason for the video, the rectifier. Not not super impressed with the two and three quarter loads. Both of them uh, super spread out for whatever reason. The number four buck did really well. Uh, I was impressed with that. And I think it would have definitely been enough to knock down a deer for sure. The um, 15 pellet Winchester load, I looked at the uh, target on the videos back and um, I forgot the tape. So there's, it wouldn't have been, it wasn't a terrible pattern by any means, uh, looking at the, comparing the two photos, but um, I would have liked to see the, you know, pattern with the freshly taped uh, target, but I didn't want to shoot on my buckshot up. So not completely sold on the rectifier yet, especially with the two and three quarter loads. Um, but like I mentioned before, I am making some, making some hand loads and some reloads um, with different wads, different shot. Like I have some um, long shot powder and I have the uh, Glondi MG42 wad and some nickel plated double lot that I'm going to make up. And I have some nickel plated number one buck and um, the TPS white lightning wad and the clay buster equipment wad coming in uh, whenever I can get it from ballistic products. Um, so I'll make those up and I'll shoot them out of all of these chokes again. Uh, and we'll see how it does with rectifier. The rectifier may be able to pattern those well. And if it's holding a nice pattern with those hand loads and I got plenty of stuff to make those. I can get in the woods with, with my hand loads in the rectifier and um, be just as successful. So, like I said, I'm not completely sold on the rectifier yet, but I'm not writing it off. Um, if I had to go in the woods tomorrow, uh, it'd be a game time decision whether I take the kicks or I take the factory full. Um, I've 
I can't say. I know I like the fact that the whole load was in, would have been right there in the deer with the factory full. But I also like how it was uh, really tight in the square, you know, with uh, with pellets that were closer together in the square. So it, I think it would have been either either one would uh, allow me to be successful and I'd take those two and three quarter Remingtons with me. Or if I brought the kicks, I'd have some of those uh, 15 pellet Winchesters ready to rock too. Um, thank you for coming along with me. I uh, appreciate the rectifier. Um, I mean, I paid for it, but okay, I'm not going to say that. All right, guys, it's going to conclude this video. Um, like I said, not completely sold on the rectifier yet, but I'm not giving up on it. Uh, when I get some hand load stuff coming out, I will uh, push it out and definitely try it with the rectifier. Uh, so stand by for that. I appreciate you guys coming along with me and going down to the range. It's always fun to let the uh let the lead out so um i'll be back with an own whenever i get the supply in and make the videos for you i appreciate all you guys like and subscribe if you haven't if you're just coming across check my videos out give them a like give them a subscribe and uh i just see you guys on the next one appreciate it